Western leaders thought they could fool the public into thinking they actually cared about Palestinians by wishing the Muslim community during their holy month a Ramadan Kareem, which translates to generous Ramadan. What would be generous? Basic, the lowest bar, would be to advocate for a ceasefire and the entry of aid and food into Gaza and stop the deliberate starvation of an entire population. Some of these leaders include U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Blinken continues to recklessly use dehumanizing language about Gazans, recently stating that ordinary citizens were looting aid, aid that is meant for them that they don't have access to, knowing full well that Gazans are now starving to death because of the blockage of their own aid. You have situations where aid goes in and then people um, immediately charge at the trucks uh, and uh, you see looting, you see criminal gangs uh, get in the act. And again, just uh, ordinary civilians. Sunak said last month that calling for an immediate ceasefire was not in anyone's best interest. What an insane thing to say. What he obviously meant was that it wasn't in the special interest of anyone invested in this occupation. None of these people have condemned Israel for bombing Gaza on Ramadan, as they've done many times in prior years. Nor have they condemned the Israeli police for routinely and violently attacking and blocking Muslims from entering holy sites so they can pray and worship. During this Islamic holy month, Muslims increase their worship, charity, and good deeds. How are they supposed to increase their charity and good deeds when they can barely find food to feed their families? How are they supposed to increase their worship when it might trigger an attack by the Israeli police or even settlers? As much as Palestinians are trying to have a Ramadan Kareem, the West won't allow them to. Over 31,000 Gazans alone have died since October 7th. And this doesn't include the increased violence happening in the West Bank. Every day, more people, including children, are kidnapped and held in Israeli jails for doing nothing. So unless you're calling for an immediate ceasefire and the entry of aid into Gaza, save your fake sentiments. From here, add in context, we truly wish the Muslim community a Ramadan Kareem, strength to Gaza, and an end to the occupation.